finished. All done and dusted. The feet are gone. And I'm on form. Seven o'clock and we're trying to get out but the traffic is jammed. Everybody's getting frustrated. <laughs> so they're gonna get out and have a fight now. You should bring your pet, then you could be the head of the, the lead beeper. Beep. Beep. So everybody's beeping to get out because they've had enough. Chaos. Thought park chaos. People trying to get out and they can't. They're sending round and round in circles and they're getting frustrated and peeping, just going round and round and round and round. I'm not going to even try and get out. Now we are trying to find our way out of Thought Park. Let's see how long it takes. Let's see how long it takes. consumers but as Keith said there the and WH Smith also say actually only 184 shoppers had commented on its stores in the survey because not all 10,000 commented on WH Smith but within the hundred within the survey 184 said that WH Smith was and that was the most um, thank you Jamie who's emailed me an old advert from WH Smith at these prices TDK takes sound good yes. cassette tapes I do remember buying those. Uh, there's a personal cassette player here for £27.95. Can you see me in front? No, I just, my footsteps. I'm sorry. My fault. Can you reverse it a little bit? No, I'm just trying to. A bit more. Bumper damage. Wing and bumper damage. No, I'll give you my details. Yeah. No, it's against my fault, mate. It's okay. absolutely okay. Okay. Screaming out of the revolution. But it's okay, you know. A lot of that was in style, I think. Oh. And one of my children was. <laughs> oh, I love that very far now. They're still in the discovery. Oh, yeah. But if it's just people in the discovery, I'll leave it. Well, listen, Free, it's lovely to chat with you. And uh, yeah, hunker down for the storm that's on its way. We know the storm's on its way because Fee's dog, Nancy, is doing something. She knows when the storm's on the way because Nancy starts stirring. She's going crazy again, apparently. So we know, we know. Um, the storm is on its way. Here in Plasto, thank you very much for your... So after I let the insurance company know about the minor accident at Thorpe Park, I thought I would try and get the car repaired by the Land Rover dealer in Sheffield, which is Guy Salmons. I called them up and told them someone bumped my bumper from behind and I need a quote to get it replaced. And they referred me to Sitna BMW, also in Sheffield which I'm now off to, to get a quote from, so a bit disappointed that the Land Rover dealer in Sheffield cannot fix something as simple as a bumper. 10 minutes and still waiting for Sydney's to do my quote for the bumper. One o'clock I booked in a long time and they just sat me down and I'm waiting now. Well, I've just been down sitting there, so it's going to be over a thousand pounds for that little bumper. First to do it through there, sit in the drive, prude body shop thing. If the insurance is not clear that you don't pay for anything, your premium doesn't go up, they'll take care of everything. Just call them a number and say Pete gave you the number. So that little bump. Spencer going to replace the bumper and the panels apparently. So let's go then. See what the invoice is when I finally receive it. Estimate.
So it's now four hours since I'm back from Sitner's BMW when he's well it was supposed to be Guy Salmon but they proved useless and told me to go and get the bumper done from Sitner's BMW. Anyway, it's four hours since I've come back and no invoice has materialised. It's supposed to have come an hour uh, three hours ago. So they're just wasting my time so I'm just gonna let more than take care of replacing the bumper and we'll see what happens. They should not charge me any excess because obviously it's not my fault. So claim it all from the other parties in Shorter. Let's contact more then and get the ball rolling so we get the bumper back back to the way it was. Before she hit it, hit it loose. <coughs> so it's Monday, the 11th of June, and more than the repairer is coming tomorrow morning to take the Land Rover Discovery Sport so I can get the bumper repaired or rather replaced. This little bubble courtesy of a trip to Thorpe Park the only thing wrong with it is that nothing else so this is a quick check before they take the car in case they bring it back with worse in a worse condition than they got it so that's where it opens so empty it the opens fine, the boot. Inside. Nothing here, just this little bit here we she drove into needs dealing with. Probably replace the whole bumper. This wing's fine. She did mark this wing, so I don't know if they're going to replace the wing, this small section here. She did hit it there, look. It's a small bit here. That's all that he's doing, just the bumper and maybe this section. Everything else is fine. Everything works fine. The boot closes fine. The sensors work fine, which I'll show you. Here we go, now reverse camera. Yeah, so let's start the car and uh, it should start beeping when I pull it into reverse. Yeah, that's the reverse sensors. Yeah. Everything is working fine. The reverse sensors, the reverse camera. It's all working fine. Okay, the current mileage is 14,629. Fuel tank has 35% full and it says 145 miles. So we'll see what they bring the car back in when they collect it tomorrow morning. It's now about half six in the evening, so I'm not going to drive it. So, more than the repairer nationwide is collecting a mileage of 14,629 with 36% tank. 145 miles estimated range and we'll see how many miles they do now they bring it back they're taking it to somewhere near Derby that's I think around 50 miles away so they're gonna drive at least 100 miles drive it at least 150 there 50 back that's the Land Rover Discovery Sport about to be taken away and the like for like car is a 
This two door duke must be like for like. And there goes Land Rover Cheerio. Go on, we'll see how long it takes to get repaired. done he's gone and this is what more than the pairs left me with like for like duke some paperwork seven to ten days he said so if you're involved in an accident with more than and it's not your fault, regardless of what they say on the phone, they don't give you a like for like. Well, a bit disappointed. It says, ring up the insurer. Yeah, if you want to change it, has it got any dents? No dents on it. Either. Few scratches on this. And one there, one there. I even looked inside it yet. Yeah, you scratch there. Few little scratches. There's a bigger one there. I don't know if you can see that. That's a scratch. A few scratches on the bumpers. Back bumper. And then the angle. Another one there. The back one's got a few scratches on it these scratches yeah this door's got scratches on it a lot of scratches on it Are these that might come off that definitely looks like a scratch no They don't bring it polished, they bring it quite dirty so you can't see which is scratches and which is not. Nissan Duke. My phone's going off. Thirteen one six five five eight three eight. What's he? Four, yeah, there it is. Four eight three eight miles fifty three to the tank. Yeah. Five eight three eight miles it's done. So what did it say when it before? Fifty two miles fuel, two bars. Anyway, I'm very disappointed with more than we can't go anywhere in this car. It's tiny. What's this? 
Oh, the drivers have left. Hmm. So there we have it. A replacement car is a Nissan Duke for a Land Rover Discovery Sport. More than like for like. What a joke. Well, first impressions are not good with more than. He said 7 to 10 days to repair that little bumper. Bloody hell, I'm going to be stuck in this piece of garbage for 7 to 10 days. As long as they do a good job. Here is the like for like replacement for a Land Rover Discovery Sport from more than's repairer nationwide. Yep, it's a seven-seater Nissan Duke. Not really. At least it's an automatic. So this is what you can expect from more than if you're involved in an accident. That's not your fault. Your best, my first impressions are obviously not very good. It's not even clean. A lot of dirt on the front and sides which makes it difficult to see scratches there's some here deep scratches there it's difficult to see all the dirt that's on it so I'm very disappointed with more than courtesy car it's not like for like it's a lot of garbage like for like garbage could you like my new car Eliza, have you seen Daddy's new car? Yeah. What car is it? It's mine. No. I swapped it. Land Rover for a Nissan Joke. It's called a Nissan Joke. Either somebody's come or... I don't know. Somebody's probably come. It's my new car. No, it's not. I probably exchanged it. No, you didn't. Do you like my new car? Oh, why have it? This, this, this. Whose car is it? It's mine. Somebody's here. Look. We've got keys. Watch. How does the door open? Hey, look. Oh, it's too bad. Oh, it is oh, four door. I thought it was two door. Yeah, I knew it was four door. I'm stupid, aren't I? Four door. Who's Kaiser? There we go. So now we're going to take the Nissan Juke for a spin for the first time. There's a couple of passengers in the back. It's really for children. Can adults sit in the back? No. Yeah. Well, they can. Well, it'd be tight squeeze. They're not allowed. Yeah. Let's go for a spin for the first time. See what we think about it. Yeah, then there's nowhere to put the camera. So I'm going after. I can hold it. Explain afterwards. I can hold it. Can you hold it? Yeah. Let me go in the middle. Let me go in the middle. Point it that way. Let's see what we think of this. Uh, I'm not quite at the bottom of the range, but it's still cheap Nissan. How it's much? Automatic. Quite. Let me. It's an automatic, I don't know how much it costs until I have a look. Okay, let's put it into drive. Are we on? What's it doing? Okay, brakes down. Into drive. And brake down. Let's go for a short spin, yep. It's not rolling back, I'm going to take foot off the brake. kind of humming noise coming from the front, I don't know what that is. What's the humming sound? Yeah, hum's a bit annoying. Let's turn off. It's not the... Coming from. 
AC is off with the home from the front to the car which is a bit annoying let's open the windows electric windows ok right. don't mess about there is an annoying home I'll keep the windows closed first thing is annoying home so it currently shows 4,841 miles and 36 miles in the tank. So let's see if it drives one for one or not. So it shows 4,841 and 36 in the tank. Let's go for a... What's making that racket? It's got an annoying sound. Where are you going? It's got an annoying home. Let's go park. Park? Yeah. yeah we'll go later. Today. Yeah, today. We'll go park today. What do we go to the park tomorrow? Okay, let me drive. Okay. So this is a smooth the new road, so driving wise it's fine. And let you just does that. You see what it's like in terms of accelerating when we go uphill? Up there, huh? Easy going. Mm -hmm. Got a hill here. Cars coming. Right, then, let's accelerate the hill. Okay. It's an automatic transmission. Okay, there's a delay. Press the accelerator and it doesn't accelerate immediately. So I press what? So I press it now. Two seconds nearly. Over a second delay. So that's not good. So the automatic transmission is not very responsive. So on flat roads it's okay, but if you're using the accelerator, you know, to pick up speed, going uphill, and it's not very responsive. Let's turn around here. 